so it has come to my motherfucking goddamn gay attention that Texas YouTuber Young Mike responds to people saying he did blackface in his latest prank video. <laughs> who are uneducated as to what blackface is. Blackface is when anybody other than a African-American ethnicity paints their skin tone, especially their face, and it could be other parts of their body, black. Um, this can be for entertainment purposes, uh, to be so-called quote-unquote funny. Uh, it could be for a multitude of different reasons, but apparently this is a Hispanic uh, YouTuber, and I guess he is pretty uh, popular because I did make a comment on No Jumper on the post, and I said, prank question mark? Nah. And uh, I basically got, uh, they, they attacked the shit out of mother. You know, I was shocked at the, at the attack. And so, um, you know me, I'm not too phased by, you know, people were talking about, oh, Rini, I miss you too. Rini Rucci, my apprentice is here, everybody. We gotta catch up. We gotta catch up. I got so much tea for you, bitch. So much tea. So I made a comment and then I was like, prank, question mark, nah. And I had like 77 comments of people talking about something. But what about the movie White Chicks? I got comments like, uh, he's in blackface, but you in a woman's face. So what the fuck? I laughed at that, you know. <laughs> she doesn't normally face me. She doesn't really face me. <laughs> she doesn't really face me. Um, so blackface, it actually started uh, during the abolition of slavery. Uh, basically, Caucasian men would uh, decorate their bodies in uh, African-American attire and act like buffoons. And um, it was highly insulting to African-American people or people who got relieved from slavery. It was just a way that other ethnicities, especially the Caucasian race, would mock black people. <laughs> education lesson. So I stood up here and I looked at this individual and he actually is Hispanic, uh, which uh, I was kind of shocked about. Um, he was not Caucasian. He was Hispanic. Um, and in the post, it says that he did not know what blackface was. I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know a thing. I wouldn't know a thing. Sorry to this man. And then there were other comments that uh, receded that were like, you know, everything is not Black Lives Matter. It was like they were really swarming me, and I was actually kind of shocked um, about it. So, you know, I've been doing research on places that I want to travel, and I um, am hypersensitive about is this place gay accepting because I'm very, very expressive, and I'm not going to conform myself for the ways of the land. I'm just not going to go to that land. Does that make sense to you? You know? <clears throat> Or how do they feel about black people? I mean, we living in some weird times, right? Um, my biggest thing with this was the lack of knowledge when it came to these young babies. They didn't know what it was. They didn't know what it was. You know? They didn't know what it was. They didn't know why it would have been offensive. And that, to me, as a 32-year-old nigga bitch up in Geese from the west side of Charlotte, North Carolina, fucking Lina, that shocked the shit out of me. I that shocked me. Okay. So, at that point in time, you know, there's this narrative where they, um, a lot of African American scholars say that they're trying to erase the black narrative from history. And judging by the World War II Museum in New Orleans, when I went down there for Mardi Gras, there was only one black person displayed, and he was in the elevator going from one floor to the next floor, and I guess he was a journalist at the time. You mean to tell me you have four campuses worth of material, and there was only one exhibit in the elevator for a black person? I mean, that kind of shocked me. I'm shocked. I'm literally shocked, right? And then, you know, I, I was having an interesting conversation with one of my Hispanic constituents, and I was like, are Hispanics racist against blacks? I've heard this before, too. Um, and she said, in some areas, that is the case. <laughs> um, I also say, you know, to, to bring up a point, you know, black... Panther 2, Wakanda Forever, brought attention to the similarities in the slave struggle when it came to the Albuquerque's in dealing with the African American struggle. There are two different struggles of slavery, but both of them were enslaved at a period of time, right? Um, so that is something that is very similar, but the difference is there are a lot of Hispanic ethnicities that are fairer skinned. It's not necessarily the race as much as it is the colorism that involves with doing blackface. So when a Hispanic person does blackface, is it offensive? Yes. 
Yes, it is. To me, <laughs> you know, that is offensive. That's just like we doing white face or Hispanic face. I feel like, you know, there are certain things involved in history and the plaguing of certain things that don't need to be expressed as a prank or a joke. And it's disheartening to me that the education system is phasing this out so much so that they don't even recognize they're doing something wrong. Or that's chop for shocks me and then they were making the comparison of white chicks um well there is a double standard when you're dealing with this because Caucasian individuals and your ancestry, you're the ones who enslaved the other races to come to this country in the first place. Now, black people, let's be clear, some of our own people sold us to those individuals, but the whole process was fucked up, if you ask me. Slavery, owning a person, considering a person, person, property, is wrong all across the board, but two wrongs don't make a right. Is white chicks wrong? It was portrayed in a very entertaining and well-polished way, and me as a black person i wasn't offended by it but if you are caucasian i wouldn't be upset if you were offended by it. okay there needs to be a level of understanding with all races every race played a part as to where we are as of right now my only thing is the lack of education that is in our system right now got these people offending people when i don't know if they mean offense or not but it was just interesting to see him say i didn't even know what the hell blackface was i was just trying to do a prank He then goes on to make a video saying I wasn't trying to offend anybody, but he kept using the N-word over and over again. <laughs> okay. He kept saying nigga this and nigga that and all this other stuff. Now, now, the N-word, I mean, as a black person, I can't imagine there being a word off limits to me. I just, I have to be honest. But when I do hear somebody who's not black say the word nigga, it hits harder when it is a Caucasian person. When it is somebody of ethnicity or, you know, anything other than Caucasian, I somewhat don't mind, but it really depends on how obtuse they're using the word. And this is just on my personal experience. I can understand how if you are explaining that you didn't mean no offense and you're and yet using the N-word over and over, I can understand why somebody would be offended by that. My whole thing is this, like, and I'll go back to saying who I am. I'm a black nigga bitch up in motherfucking geese. I don't want to be a woman. I'm not transgender, okay? But I am black. And just like one of the comments said, black people don't typically claim me which is perfectly fine. I'm in a world of my own. But what we need now is unity. And if you're if, if you're going to continue to do pranks like this, at least know the context and the history of what it is that you're doing so you can educate somebody through the prank that you're doing. Now, I do believe that in order for change to manifest, we do need antagonists in this reality, whether it's this generation, the generation up under, and the generation up under that. But change cannot happen unless you are educated on what it is that you're provoking. And because you weren't, because you weren't, not, I can't even say fuck you, but fuck the goddamn education system. I can't even say fuck you, fuck the education system. They failed you, okay? And it's not just black history. It's Hispanic history. We all have different parts to, to be played. But see, this is what happens. When you start erasing certain parts of history or people's uh, or a group of people's or an ind even an individual's, you know, change in reality, what starts to happen is you start to mind wash them and brain control them, mind control or brain wash them. We can say this either way into thinking that reality is something that it's not. I saw an interesting uh, video that was in my Instagram Instagram story. We are not being educated. We're being indoctrinated. There is a difference. Being educated means you know the facts. You know how things have been going down. And luckily, because of the craft that I participate in, a lot of ancient knowledge has been passed down from generation to generation that has been desensitized by the media, that has been desensitized by commercialism, that has been advertised as entertainment. When it's the truth, stare you right in your motherfucking face. <laughs> But how can we unify if you change our history, the real history? Omitting something is changing it. Then you got to ask the question, why are they changing it? Whose narrative is it fitting? 
Indoctrinized for what? Purpose. I'll tell you. So that you're a slave to the knowledge that you're receiving and not awakened to the knowledge that is actually going to ascend us as a species to hold us down, to make profit off of us and to persuade and manipulate our mind to get ass shots instead of enhancing our brain where our pineal gland can actually telepathically communicate with one another. You're keeping us bound. You think fluoride is healthy for your teeth? It ain't. It lowers your vibration. But you don't want to hear me. So I'm going to shut up. I'm going to shut up. So I'm going to shut up. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to shut up. And because I'm black, I'm gay, and I'm expressive, you wouldn't think twice about hearing me no way. But I'm still going to rub my motherfucking mouth to somebody who is receiving the message. If we're going to unify as a species, education needs to be there. And if that's not there, guess what's going to take over? That pandemic was supposed to divide us, and we unified. <laughs> hey! I hope this message is received like the dick I didn't get in Miami. Uh, <clears throat> I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man. <laughs> I will be right back with your readings, and that's all I wanted to say.